out 18,000. I don't want to jinx it, ladies and gentlemen, but that's where we are. Ashley Webster's here, Tammy Bruce is here, Scott Shelley and Jeff Seeker, all of us together playing happy families. <laughs> Democrats <laughs> debate in New York last night, no happy family there, no. uh, last night, uh, but no mention of economic growth or prosperity. Jeff, I guess what I'm getting at here is that we're six months to the election, Mm -hmm. And all that on the Democrat side, they're not talking about growing the economy. They're talking about spreading the wealth still. Does that worry you as an investor? Uh, it's, it's, it's horrifying. It's, it's absolutely horrifying that a hardcore socialist and a hardcore wannabe socialist have a very good chance of running this country. I think that's, that, if, if that doesn't scare investors, I don't know what does. But you think about last night. Oh. The socialism has a real hard time trying to talk about economic growth because if they do, they'll be the worry that they're not that, that, that they're taking the side of corporations, lowering taxes. So it didn't surprise me, but what did surprise me was the overall tone of that debate, which leans so far to socialism, it's got to concern a lot of people. Uh, Scott Shelley, does that concern you? The tone of the debate, the nature of the debate among Democrats <laughs> last night? Absolutely, because they, they couldn't, you know, really, in their minds, there really isn't anything to criticize. Why criticize a president that put us more in debt than all other presidents combined? Why mm -hmm. criticize a president that took away our manufacturing jobs and replaced them with low-paying minimum wage jobs? Why criti criticize your president who's got slow to no growth and more people on social welfare than when he came in office? There's nothing to criticize. It's all going to be the same. We're all good to go forward. Okay, but it's not a factor in the election yet. Uh, I'm sorry, in the, in the marketplace yet. I don't think it's a factor at this point. How about this? Is no. this a factor? China reporting its slowest growth since 2009. What was it? 6.9 percent. 6.7. 6.7. .7. Okay. The GDP. Scott, is that a factor today at all? Do you care about China slowing to 6.7 percent growth? Well, we have to care about China slowing, and the reports are that it's much more than that. But it's you know they keep putting out a headline number between six and seven percent. Yes, they are a large part of it, but right now we're going to be go going through a sloppy period here, Stuart, up until our election when we have more, you know, more footing to trade off of, and that's going to be right now we're going to be focused on the U.S. policy rather than globally, but that still could be a hair trigger if things get dicey in the future. So we're, st we're up because we believe that Janet Yellen is not going to raise interest rates much or much at all Bad news, good this news. year. Yeah, that's, yes. that's why we're up today. Yes. China slows down, they're Marginally. debating socialism yeah. in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, the Dow's up four points. Well, I, I actually think Where they else were else expecting... Where are you going to put your money? Yeah, the, that, yeah, good point. Really. Where else are you going to put your money? Right. I, 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 think, I think the market was expecting a worse was, number out of China. Yeah. And I think, I think the, you know, now it's really, when you saw the futures trade down today, I think it's obvious that they were expecting significantly worse. And keep in mind, we had those two meetings with Janet Yellen, the meeting with Obama and Janet Yellen. This, this, is, this is a market that's depending on bad news. If the bad news isn't bad enough, investors are going to start to think that those interest rate increases are on the horizon. Uh, Scott Shelley, I've got to ask the oil question all over again because this morning we're down to forty dollars a barrel. There's a meeting in Qatar over the weekend of the oil producers. Iran versus Saudi Arabia makes it look like we're not going to get much of an output freeze. Russia's already saying it doubts that oil price will go up after the meeting. So are we in for another period where we get back to the thirty to forty dollar barrel range? Can you see that coming? Yeah, it's a three-letter three-letter answer, and it's it's yes. I think with the supply that we still don't really talk about enough. Yeah, we could see some policy that makes oil in the short term, but the story of oil isn't the precipitous decline that we've seen over the last six to eight months. The story of oil is lower for longer, and that could be really hurtful to our own economy here. So that's the. And you know what? Lower for longer is not just oil. Lower for longer is also going to be interest rates. There's a lot of things that we're going to have to start getting used to here because I think we're into a new norm. Oh, watch out for the new norm. All right. Individual stocks. <laughs> here we go. McDonald's.